Okay, welcome to the item gate and redstone wireless tutorial. The item gate is a very handy little add-on we have got hold of a little while ago and it lets traps be made by detecting what people are holding in their hands or in fact whether they're not holding anything. So you can make this gate out of any material you want so long as the terrain around it is different. It needs to be a set shape which is pretty simply that and it needs two torches and then you need a sign on top. You make this a detector and below you have a load of different handles so you can have slash I mean uh, at always and that means it will always turn on. Sorry it's not very easy to see that it detects. Oh once it's built you can pretty much add to it however you like. it uses normal torches that turn to redstone when you go through it you can use it to trigger traps there we go and now that will always turn on the other features are you can use it to select what you're holding in your hand so detector bracket hold one I think one smooth stone isn't it so if I go through with that it lights up. If I go through with anything else in hand, it doesn't. This is very useful, obviously, for triggering traps. Um, but you can use the always to do whatever you want anyway. Uh, let me dig up a couple more. Come on. Okay, what I really wanted to show here was how I use this with wireless for traps and such. Um, we have a new wireless add on. Well, technically, we've had it for quite a while, but no one seemed to know about it. So to demonstrate, we have the redstone going there, and we'll have a torch coming off of here. So that whenever we go through there, the torch should change. Yep, there we go. Now, wireless redstone is a wonderful little add-on. It can link pretty much any trigger to anything else quite easily, so you can have a look there. What you do, it's called quantum connector, so you type in slash quantum connector, QC, quantum, spelled correctly, and that makes a direct quantum circuit. You left click the first sender with redstone, and then the receiver, and every time you click this, ta-da, isn't it great? Now, you can do the same, if this put it somewhere we'll be able to see it, you can do the same using torches, and touch pads and a bazillion other things. Uh, slash QC. Anyway. Slash. Oh yeah, yeah that's what I did. Slash QC. Quantum. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. There you go. It saves that as a sender and rebuilds it. And then you can attach it to that. Right, so now when I go through, that triggers that on and off for the period of time that I am going through. Now, another nice feature of this is something you may have seen in my um, admin room. What I did was I used this... Uh, where is it? Right, you can use pressure plates here and link them to doors and such if you want. But for now, I'll just demonstrate this. Sender and receiver. So yeah, standard pressure plate. There you go, it's just triggered for the first time. Walk on it, walk off it. Brilliant. Now, what you can do now, to make things more interesting, is slash QC you have a list of available commands there. Reverse, toggle, quantum, random, off and on. So if you do slash QC, toggle, then what it does is it makes that pressure pad, instead of acting like a standard pressure pad or button, act like a switch. Toggle and toggle. Now this is very handy for those lighting systems. You walk into a room, lights come on, you walk in, lights go off. Unfortunately there's not many lighting add-ons out there at the moment but we did recently get hold of a very nice one uh, let me 
show you with only a couple of minor drawbacks but they are necessary I guess right so first thing you'd usually do is build a framework for the lights of course or at least just have them in the ceiling set nice and neatly in the ceiling Oops. okay what this add-on does is it basically once lit up it changes glass into glowstone which seems to be the pretty standard way of light add-ons working now the thing with this add-on is you can't have anything other than white wool above it I assume they use that as some kind of trigger block so that it can detect what's the light and what's standard glass the next thing about it is it needs a redstone torch above it again I assume so it can detect what's powered and what's not now we could do it this way Ta-da! it turns to glowstone there we go so I'm sure you got a anyway <coughs> I'm sure you got a pretty good idea of uh, hmm. one second right that got rid of most of them that was fun um, where was I? Yes, or you can set up the wireless circuitry for this. You can hide all of this above a nice handy ceiling. So, assume your ceiling is yay deep. No, that's not going to work. One second. Right, there we go. I have built a, a house, or at least a corner of one. We have the light up there, and oh yeah, I just thought of another reason why wool might be needed above it. When it's not lit up, it's just glass, so you'll be able to see right through and you want something interesting above, I guess, I assume. Right, anyway, um, yeah, redstone torch, and you can wirelessly connect that down here. So, if you walk into a room, oops, throwing out people, there. So you do slash QC toggle to that, and to that. Uh, anyway, so yes, first we'd build a platform so that we can actually have some wireless current going around. I know what I'm doing really, I just pretend not to to keep you guys guessing. Haha! Mm. Haha! Mm. Uh -huh. Done. See, I'm a genius really. So yes, now you'd walk into the room and it would toggle. So you walk in, light comes on, you walk out, light goes off. Isn't it brilliant? Unfortunately, the main problem with it is the amount of roof space it needs. Obviously in a cave house this would mean absolutely nothing and would not be a problem whatsoever. But if you're building a nice little house on a hill, you're going to need at least two squares of roofing here just to cover it up. Which is why I'll show you at spawn the admin house. Although it's quite a small building itself, has a massive roof because I've had to cover the whole thing over. And inside this roof, you will find many intricate wiring layouts. Could make the roof one smaller. Could probably make it too smaller with a bit of thought but uh, this seems to do the job quite fairly and it's all linked by one wireless redstone here oh. I guess that's my catchphrase so yeah it's a very useful little system and can be very nice in underground houses you can also obviously link it to switches, buttons or anything like that now if you also want to as you can see there are lots of different options available here uh, reverse, toggle, quantum, random and off one of the ones I find very useful, that a lot of people have thanked me for putting together, is this fixes wooden doors. Now wooden doors, as a lot of people will know, are a real pain in the neck because when you place them, if you put down a slab, actually I'll just demonstrate it's easier, people know what I mean. There. One always goes open when the other one doesn't. And if you put down a slab on the other side, I can't remember what slab's called, so I'll just make a bunch more of these. 
put down a slab on the other side, it's only going to open one side or the other, and they're going to alternate. But with this handy little feature, you can do slash QC and reverse, and that does the opposite of its input to the other side to wherever you send it. So now, there you go. They both open together. That's the front door problem solved and a lot of very happy people on the server. Isn't it brilliant? Until next time.